What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Quarter Garage where we attempt to put a K-Series Honda K24 into a 1987 Toyota Corolla. If we can make our way through these tight little passages and keep from pulling our hair out because of the clutter, we'll get this engine in this car. The update is we got the clutch on, the adapter plate, still waiting on some parts, got the k-tuned alternator relocation and the ati super damper so got some good stuff going more stuff coming still waiting on parts due to covid but whatever uh we'll do what we can we're gonna put it in then we're gonna put the header on and see if it fits and if it fits we're gonna weld this uh right like that and then we're gonna use some parts of the steel we use for the cage to fortify the frame so all right i'm gonna do this in a uh, time lapse have fun watching it uh it's gonna be a lot more fun for you than me it's pretty hot in here humid cluttered messy everything that makes you just want to go inside and watch tv so enjoy All right, guys, check this out. After a lot of sweat and tears, we got the engine in place, mounted to the transmission, clutch and flywheel in, hood opens and closes without hitting the engine. Well, I guess it touches the support, but we can get rid of that. Uh, part of that is because I wanted to mount this with only one inch spacers instead of I don't know many people that have done this swap, but I think usually they use like one and three quarter inch subframe spacers, which I think is just a bit excessive. K24 is really tall, so we're gonna make this work with one inch spacers. The hood's fully closed and it's barely, barely touching that support, so I think that we should be good. We'll just cut that off and call it good. So. The header still doesn't fit. I really didn't want to build my own header, so I bought a Honda S2000 K-Swap header. And there's too much upturn on the bottom part of the header. So I'm going to cut this flange off. And uh, we're not going to use that flange anyways. We'll probably use like a V-Band or something. I'm going to see if that will clear without that flange. If not, we're going to have to open up these bends. This is a, I think it's, I don't know if it's eBay, but it's 1320. It's basically an eBay company. It was not super expensive, but not super cheap either. I think it was like $600. I guess that's kind of expensive, but check this out. So this flange is super warped. Look at this. So this is a straight edge. Oh man, this is hard to do with one hand. All right, so it's flat on the other side. It's like a quarter of an inch plus out. So I'm going to have it machined, but even then it's so far out, the bolt surfaces aren't going to be flat. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might like heat it up and bolt it down on a steel plate and let it cool and see how much that flattens it out. And then from there, I'll probably have it machined flat so that it fits. But it's pretty close to fitting. It's a lot less work than building one yourself. So that's about it for the update. Looks pretty good in there. See you guys. <laughs> 